How cute are the deers, babe? On a scale of one to ten. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. So they should stay till the middle of the video and the end to see the rest of the deer stuff. Oishi. What's up, guys? It's your boy Christian here, back at you for a brand new sneaker video today on Sneaker Talk, and we're in Japan right now. So a lot of you guys were asking me what sneakers did I bring with me to Japan, and that's what this video is going to be all about. I'm going to show you guys my Japanese sneaker rotation, and then halfway in between it, we're going to come back here for the deer park. We actually went to a deer park today, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how that went down. But for now, let's get to the sneaker rotation. What you guys. Can Came here for and by the way we are giving away two pairs of Yeezys on the channel one on YouTube and one on Instagram so if you guys want to enter the giveaways make sure you check out the Yeezy giveaway link down below so we're back in my bedroom for this portion of the video yes we're going international with this one and so the very first sneaker I wore in Japan or the first sneaker in the Japanese sneaker rotation would have to be the NMD human race trail runners in this teal and yellow colorway now this sneaker pops I knew I wanted to take some pictures with these on the hiking trip which we did do so if you guys haven't seen the hiking in Japan vlog I did indeed wear these trail runners these hiking NMDs on that uh, little trip it's a very fun shoe to wear just because the colors are very vibrant and out there it's not usually like a color combination you would typically see on most sneakers so that's one of the reasons I like them so much uh, to be honest this wasn't my first choice of colorway when it came to the second or the, the new set of human race NMDs that they did release um, with Pharrell but these definitely did grow on me I am still on the hunt for that like marble light lavender purple uh, colorway those look really great and I'm also looking to grab the cream pair like the triple white the cream NMD trail runners those are crazy my homie Tim in Texas has them and I'm jealous whenever he wears them The next shoe in my Japanese sneaker rotation was probably my second most worn, or it's tied for first um, most worn sneaker on this trip. They are the Puma Thunder Spectra. These bulky, bulky dad shoes right here. These broke a lot of necks just because they're pretty wild and out there. And they are what became like a beater to me. Like you guys can see there's some like dirt and scruff on it and stuff like that. These became like the heavy duty travel shoes. If I was going to go in like areas where I knew my shoes would get messed up or if I was going to have a very, very long day, just traveling a whole bunch like on the travel days, this right here, the Puma Thunder Spectra, was my go-to shoe. It's big and bulky, so my feet's protected. It's very supportive, so my feet are not gonna ache after long days of walking around and traveling. And it's a shoe that's able to go with most outfits. Like, I didn't honestly have to worry about color coordinating or matching this shoe with other clothing that I was wearing because it's mainly a black shoe with hits of a few other colors. But for the most part, if you're wearing one of the few colors or just a very basic outfit in general, these really complement your outfit very well so the puma thunder spectra i'm looking forward to more colorways of the sneaker dropping i have seen images of two other colorways releasing so far i'm not a fan of those so far it's just the og colorway that i'm really really a fan of On to the third, the third sneaker in my Japanese sneaker rotation. And by the way, one thing I did notice was that every single sneaker I brought on this trip to Japan, I received for free. So I want to give a huge thank you to Puma, Nike, and Adidas for sending over all these kicks. I really, really appreciate it. And a huge thank you to the Sneaker Talk family as well for supporting my dreams, my passion, which is creating YouTube videos. Because I would not honestly be in the position I'm in if it weren't for you guys supporting me. So let's get to the third sneaker. We have the Adidas and Nike runner or the i5923 this is probably not just my most worn sneaker on this japan trip but it's also my most worn sneaker of 2018 so far this is just such an easy to wear sneaker like, look at this colorway look at the colorway of this adidas and nikki runner it's so simple you, you can't go wrong with this it goes with every single outfit it got boost so you know it's gonna be comfy and uh yeah i have no problem just slipping these on my feet running out of the house and doing what i gotta do now one problem that the sneaker does have is if you are traveling all day and you're walking a lot then your feet might hurt at the end of the day because for whatever reason the boost 
Boost isn't as supportive for those all day long trips. It's really good for like short burst trips or like a couple hours. But if you're wearing these for like 10 to 12 hours, non-stop walking, your feet are gonna hurt. So uh, yeah, probably one of my most worn sneakers of 2018 and the most worn sneaker of this trip. With that said, I did promise some deers at the start of the video. So we're gonna cut over to, I think, Nara Park, which is a famous deer park in Japan. And I'll show you guys the little adventure there. And then when we come back, I will show you guys the other three sneakers in the rotation. Do you want to take one home, babe? Of course I do. Are you kidding? Come here. It's adorable. I want to get closer. Look at that face. It almost looks like a, a face of a kangaroo. Oh, much, much, much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at them go. <laughs> so there's a small like little park thing here that you can't enter. We're going to one that you can in a second, but they actually go across the gate sometime onto the roads. There's like deer crossing markings on the roads itself. And there's deer pee. There's also deer poop. And it looks like cereal to be honest. Hello Mr. Deers. How are you? What's on feet today? What do you have on feet? Oh, nothing. Nothing on feet. Look what you did. Now they're all on you. They want your food. They're like zombies. <laughs> it looks like there's a casual lineup for getting food from one of these people. This is awesome. Oh, you can buy you can buy treats to feed the deer. That is consumerism at its finest. This man has like 20 deers around him. <laughs> Maddie, how does it feel uh, after petting your first deers? Feels pretty good, man. <laughs> you have any? Chill. I really like how chill they are. I think they were taught to do like this bow thing. Yeah. So super quiet. Yes. How did it feel when they uh, barricaded you against the fence? I was actually a little scared <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know if they were gonna start like biting my bag or anything. I see you guys have uh, successfully tamed a deer. Yep. This is our new friend. friend. It's like winking at me. What's his name? Steve. Steve? Or Steve. -o. Hey Steve. How are you today? Steve's a good boy. <laughs> Steve is looking high <laughs> AF. Yo Steve, are you meditating today? Hmm? Nom, 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 nom. How much money did you spend on food for the deers today? Like Five bucks. Would you like some food, Steve? I have the food. Here you go. Oh yes. You're so gentle. You don't even use your teeth like Misty. Misty should learn from you. Misty, if you're watching this. <laughs> no, take Misty's it. about to be replaced. The first deer is being left. This is the deers at the round table. One deer, two deer, three deer, four, five, six. And then Steve is still back there. Steve is back there sitting on the floor. Oh, that was the cutest thing ever. The light's red. The deer is just chilling right now. It's, it's waiting. It's waiting. Nom 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 nom. You should subscribe to Sticker Talk because he's cool and he has nice shoes and vlogs in Japan. Oh, thank you. What a sweetie pie.
It bit you! <laughs> no, 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 get away. <laughs> Be gone, thought. He really went in! He really went in there! <laughs> oh, that's smart too. He went for the pocket, but jokes on the deer. My it's pockets a, are stitched. It's a fake pocket. It's not fake, I mean, it's stitched for looks. And so that concludes our deer segment to today's video. Now let's get back to the crib and finish up the rest of the Japanese sneaker rotation. Back in my bedroom and now I'm gonna show you guys the other three sneakers from the Japanese sneaker rotation. The next one being the only pair of Nikes I brought on this trip. They are the Nike Air Max 270 or 270. I'm pretty sure everybody just calls them the Nike Air Max 270. And the Nike Air Max 270 has gotta be one of my favorite new releases of 2018. I went out and bought the OG colorway, that tan or khaki one with that red air unit. And this is a sneaker that I wore quite a bit on the trip. This sneaker pops. Whenever I wore this shoe, I broke necks. Like I think I broke like 32 and a half necks the day I wore this when we went to the mall shopping. The air unit on the back really pops. The white clean upper looks great. And honestly, the 270 is such a good all day long uh, to wear shoe. Like if you're going on a long, long trip, this air unit got your back. Like it is such a comfortable shoe. I probably would have worn the 270s more if it was a different colorway, but because it was like a mainly all white shoe besides the air unit, I tried not to wear them too, too much so I wouldn't get them too dirty. On to the second last sneaker from the Japan sneaker rotation. We have the Adidas EQT Basque Advance or the EQT Basket Advance. This is a sneaker I am not giving enough love to on the channel. I should wear these more. I got to wear them a bunch more on the Japan trip and these are super, super comfortable. I gotta say for all day wear, this is a sneaker I can recommend. You guys might be familiar with the Adidas EQT line or the Adidas EQT Support Advance. And this is basically Adidas' basketball version or basketball inspired version of the EQT line. Is it for performance basketball? Probably not. I don't, I don't think I don't think I would recommend this for basketball. But if you're wearing it for like daily wear or just casually, this is a sneaker I could recommend. The comforts there, one of the most comfortable EQT sneakers without boost. Like there's no boost in the sneaker. You think they'd be able to sneak some boost into the like chunky chunky midsole, right? There's no boost inside of it. Would I recommend it? I'd absolutely recommend it. It's on sale at a lot of places too. I will leave links to all these sneakers in the description down below if you guys want to buy them. But anyways, the Adidas EQT Basque Advance was the second last sneaker for this Japan sneaker rotation. I gotta show these some more love. Um, definitely check these out. Check out a few other colorways. Links in the description down below. On to the final shoe. The final shoe from the Japan sneaker rotation. And you guys know, you gotta have an Ultra Boost when you travel. Ultra Boost is probably one of the most important sneakers you can have in any sneaker collection or sneaker rotation for that matter. And so for the Ultra Boost, we went with these right here, the reigning champ collaboration with Adidas on the Adidas Ultra Boost ATR Mids. These right here are like a all-terrain hiking kind of shoe, very utilitarian. There's some water resistant material on the prime and upper of the shoe so if you are stuck in like a crappy situation where it's raining your feet aren't going to get completely drenched there was some points where the shoe did protect me from rain and then there was some points where the rain was just so bad that these shoes could not resist all the water so if you're looking for a shoe that you know is super comfortable for all day wear the ultra boost atr mid is something i check out there's a couple colorways on sale this of course is a collaboration with reigning champ so i think the price point is a bit higher up there they did do a second version or a second colorway of this shoe i gotta say the ultra boost atr mid is probably one of my most comfortable sneakers in my collection and for that reason that's why i had to bring them to Japan with me. So, reigning champ, ultra boost ATR mids. Let's throw these on feet.
So there you guys go. That's gonna wrap up today's Japan sneaker rotation. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. A little bit of sneaker content, a little bit of vlogging content. If you guys want to see more Japan vlogs, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna start uploading them daily at 7 p.m. Eastern, or at least try to. 7 p.m. Eastern is my daily upload time, which I always try to aim for. So if you wanna, you know, pop by the channel, or if notifications aren't working, then stop by the channel around 7, and there might be a new video. With that said, if you guys did make it to the the very end of the video and you are a part of the sneaker talk family please do me a huge favor and comment down below what your favorite sneaker was from the japan sneaker rotation your favorite sneaker or your top three or your top two let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to chop it up with you guys in the comment section with that said if you guys haven't followed me on instagram please follow me it's at sneaker talks yay i upload lots of dope photos over there outfit photos some japan photos some sneaker photos and we also are running of course the yeezy giveaway over on the gleam link in the description down below along with an extra pair of Yeezys on Instagram. So if you haven't yet followed my Instagram and you want a free pair of Yeezys or you just want to see some dope content, then follow your boy at Sneaker Talk CA. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later and uh, yeah, hope you guys have an awesome day. Peace out.